Hey guys, welcome to another episode of War Divisions where I make videos with MR lower units. Uh, this is uh, Arena bit Battles with Mont. Just want to showcase um, Mont in action as a tank. And today, uh, I just want to show him going against Sephiroth. So this team I built for fun, mind you, uh, it's to tackle Sephiroth. Uh, the reason why I say for, for fun because normally you want to, uh, if you're going to use Mont, it's, it's probably for limited battles anyway, um, and this is Arena as well, but you probably are going to use Mont in more of a Earth type team to take advantage of, of elemental buffs through mastery, stuff like that. But now with the introduction of jobs, they're... Um, promote they're trying to like encourage more rainbow teams which I'm fine with so I decided to build this team for uh, for that purpose try to make a rainbow team also because it's third anniversary so I wanted to use the original uh, original three the, the the main protagonist is of this game Stern Mont and Mashiri Stern's the brother Mashiri's the future wife but this team's designed to go after dark. When you're um, in arena, you, you the best way to climb up is to uh, choose targets that you know you can win against. So you could try to climb up. Um, eventually you're gonna hit a wall and then you're gonna have to adjust and then you climb up again. So you wanna have multiple teams anyway. Um, not just stick with uh, one. Of course, try to have bonus units and cards and stuff like that. So that you could uh, increase higher. Um, arena is a lot of fun. We could just try anything you want. So just go out there, have a blast. Uh, just a real, uh, quick rundown. Stern here is the main DPS, uh, so he'll be the fastest of the team. Uh, one of his highlights is that he has innate um, dark resistance at 15% which is higher than any unit in the game currently and keep in mind he's a he's a launch unit he was here since the beginning so he has right now with all these equipment 70 uh, percent dark resistance Mont here he'll be our tank uh so i want him to take more of the hits from sephiroth and the other dark units that he's going to be paired with uh, I do want to try to target more uh, the physical dark units. However, uh, there are teams with Sephiroth uh, paired with uh, mag units, units like Dark Fina and Dark and Helena and stuff like that. So it's something to keep in mind. But I was able to get him to 75% uh, dark resistance. The magic units are going to be an issue if I run into them because they will do some damage. And then we have Mashiri, who's more support than damage dealer. Ignore that uh, bravery. It should be at 97, I know. Uh, her dark resistance at 45, because it's kind of hard to gear her uh, to have higher dark resistance. Mainly because she starts with a negative. Uh, but 45 is not bad. Um, she's support because uh, she has access to Calamity Stronghold, which could grant to everyone a barrier. Everyone within the area a barrier for one um, set of damage and also gives more HP to them. Immunities to a lot of status effects and grants her more healing power. Um, and her Karate Prayer, which is update to Clerics, um, will recover HP and remove debuffs, which will help uh, Mont uh, get rid of like certain debuffs like Dark Resistance Down, stuff like that. Um, for her... Uh, to survive better uh, because he has no way to get rid of that himself and she's on the monk job mainly and only for revive to have a shot at reviving uh, normal clerics do have access to dark veil uh, for dark resistance but because that's on her sub job and she's on monk uh, I gave her Elena's uh, trust master Elena's trust master for the dark resistant instead this one's an instant cast versus a cast in time so that's good i want her to do it as soon as possible uh it's gonna grant uh 20 dark resistance uh to all those that she hits 
So if uh, mainly Mont, I want Mont to get it. Mont's gonna get 95% dark resistance for three turns, and then if Stern gets it. Stern will get it 90% uh, for three turns, and then she'll be at 65%. So yeah, that's the team rundown. Now for some battles. All right, so our, this team is against a limited air uh, and leader bull that likes to pretty much the setup is haste, haste, quicken, quicken. <laughs> uh, move in quick with Sephiroth and leader bold um, to devastate your team before you have time to set up. Luckily, we have some time to set up. Our setup uh, doesn't take much uh, as long as we get our shield up and dark resistance, we're good. We didn't get the dark resistance here, but we should still be okay because Marshfury did provide us with a shield. So now Sephiroth is going to come in, do his Hellgate. Uh, it didn't do that much damage thanks to the shield and the dark resistance. But Luminaire is going to go and cast Quicken on Sephiroth and he's going to do it again. Boom. A lot of damage. This Sephiroth might have his Living Break off just so he could do more uh, damage with uh, less a uh, AP. Because uh, I was expecting for him to do the Limit Break here, but he didn't do that. Leader Bull does do her Limit Break though. The good thing about having high resistance in the element, it forces the AI to do a, the highest damage move. And sometimes that's just going to be a normal non-elemental attack. Which should probably be just a regular attack. Or if they're equipped with something, they'll do that. Stern devastated the two ladies, um, gets some heals from Mashiri, he gets another turn and devastates Sephiroth. Our next team features Little Lila, the SR version, and Halloween Lucia. Little Lila did get her 140 uh, as well. I think she was, yeah, she was the first batch. And then Halloween Lucia is a really good mage unit that can take physical attacks pretty well. So I'm not, uh, or at least AOE physical attacks pretty well. So I'm not expecting her to go down that easily, but she she can't. Uh, one thing about Sephiroth that you have to look out no matter how much setup you have to go against him is his counter. If he um, procs his counter ability, which he did right here, um, that has an 80% chance of hitting. And it's a not elemental attack. I believe it's a slash not elemental attack, so you could at least prepare some slash resistance to it but because uh i'm i focus more on dark uh resistance uh, i don't have much of defense at least on stern because stern stern is still fragile compared to mont mont's gonna be able to take that counter uh pretty okay but if he does it on stern or whoever your dps is if your dps can't take uh, uh hits too well it's gonna devastate Speaking of Devastation, uh, since Mont's weak to magic, uh, Halloween Lucia did do a number of him. But he was able to take uh, Sephiroth's attack pretty well. And look, he got the counter off right here. Um, sadly, Mont was really low uh, HP, but his courage proc, which was good. Uh, we got Halloween Lucia down, but Mont's uh, um, courage proc, then he was low on health. So Rosary here is going to actually try to revive him, and he does. Um, so now Sephiroth is going to move in and do his awesome limit break. His limit break just looks really, really good, in my opinion. Um, does a number on everyone. Mashiri goes down because she's not uh, equipped to anyone else. The other thing you have to worry about with Sephiroth is his, he has a physical evade counter um, that sometimes procs. And it does look like we're going to win this one, but just goes to show you that those counters on him really hurt. Our final match for this video is going to have uh, Dark Fina and Lila the Bold. Uh, as I said uh, before, you got to watch out for Sephiroth's uh, counter moves because they are devastating and they are match changing a lot of losses i had while climbing arena was because he proc one of those two counters or sometimes both uh he would counter the slash attack peremptorily and then stern would die 
and you'll still count uh, proc the physical evasion because that's just how it works. I guess they activate at the same time, but once Stern's dead, it's like <laughs> you physically evade nothing. But that's what makes him really uh, tough to deal with. So you could have all the counters in the world. Uh, like your team could set up to um, devastate him, but he still has that chance of still beating you. So uh, here we were able to knock out Little the Bull pretty quickly. Uh, to my surprise, I thought she would take more uh, hits a bit better, but Stern, Stern hits hard. He is soldier class, so he does hit hard. Um, Sephiroth was able to land his uh, his limit break on Stern, which is good for us. That means we still have our courage, and that's his only courage and uh, re-raise uh, removal. It's on his limit break. I don't think he has it anywhere in his kit. So if he's able to do that on someone that you don't want to get their stuff removed, then you have a better chance at uh, dealing with Sephiroth. So him doing it on Stern was great. I'm not sure he goes down as suspected. Um, Stern's going to go after Dark Fina here to finally kill her. Now it's just up to Sephiroth and Stern. Sephiroth has some a uh, AP here, but he chose to do normal attack because that's going to do more damage. But Stern's going to get the final stab and boom, that's revenge for error. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Laters.